Introducing Metaphor API. The Metaphor API project serves as a crucial link between your large language model and the vast expanse of the internet. Now by integrating a few lines of code, you basically unlock the ability to conduct searches based on metaphors or keywords which basically facilitate the retrieval of HTML content from various online sources. Now this is something that could be used for basically free as you get a thousand searches with their application and this is something that could be very very useful for a lot of different cases. Now I'll just take a look at this video example which showcases what Metaphor API is able to do. So in this example we see that you're trying to build a large language model application that helps users stay up to date with the recent news topics in the AI world and basically we can see over here the first approach without using Metaphor API it utilizes uh, the 3.5 turbo model and asks the user question which is the prompt that is given what's the recent news on physics today and it basically gives outdated responses as it scorches through old data sets that are utilized within the actual large language model however in the second approach where it utilizes the metaphor api it tweaks the actual prompting scheme as well as it uses metaphor's neural search engine to generate the relevant responses it uses the same model and the same question what is the recent news on physics today and basically if you were to go down you're able to see that there's updated responses on what the news on physics is for the current day as it shows the current date as well as the year which we are in now if you are to compare that with this example over here it is very old examples on what physics is and if you are to search these up there are responses from previous years that are outdated and there's basically studies that are like not prevalent for today's news that is asking for and this is something that is basically showcasing what metaphor api is actually able to do so with that thought guys make sure you stay tuned throughout the video as we'll be showcasing what you can actually do with metaphor api talking a little bit more about the actual architecture and lastly showcasing you how you can actually utilize it now guys if you guys haven't followed through with the patreon page definitely do so with the link in the description below so that you can get access to our vibrant discord community which has a lot of amazing perks so definitely check this out with the link in the description below now if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter i highly recommend that you do so because we are going to be posting the latest ai news so you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends over here so i highly recommend that you give this a follow and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned to the end and with that thought let's get right into the video hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at world of ai as we talked about the start we're going to talk a little bit more about what metaphor api is a little bit more about the architecture as well as how you can actually use it now using the metaphor api has several different benefits now it lets you talk to the internet in natural ways which makes it interaction of the large language model that is integrated with the metaphor api so much more easier as you're able to get accurate and relevant search results because it understands your query like it's in the actual human world now it helps you find information from different websites and brings back neat and organized content to you now you can choose between metaphor for as well as keyword searches which adapts to your own specific needs it also helps you summarize the information you find which is so much more useful for basically quickly understanding your key points and the key api actually works well with large language models as it makes it so much more better at improving user experiences and quickly getting information from the internet right to you through the actual large language model and it's a way for you to simply and comprehensively utilize the tool so that it can connect with your large language model and the internet to help you find the best online content effectively now the main reasons why metaphor api was founded was because of the frustration they were having with the current state of the internet now what was once a wonderful space for accessing information was overshadowed by the relentless pursuit of attention driven monetization now this is something that's very true as if you are to go onto google without any ad block 
you're going to be bombarded with so many different paid monetization ads and it's basically evident that it's a decline of the actual google search engine which basically optimizes paid ads over the best i would say content that is available for your attention or a specific need and this is why they created this application so that they aim to counter this trend by providing solutions where they prioritize genuine information retrieval over like paid monetization now in terms of the architecture metaphor api it has been pretty well structured as it has a seamless connection with various different components to facilitate efficient information retrieval to its actual users if beneath the actual surface there's a language processing layer and this comes into leveraging advanced neural networks as well as natural language understanding techniques and the layer basically interprets the user's query and it converts it into a format suitable for web content searches Moving onwards, it focuses then on the search process in which it utilizes the search engine layer which houses Metaphor's search model. And this neural search model then operates across different curated indices of web content. So it scans the index to locate the contextual relevant information that is aligned with the input that you give it at the start to get you the best like output in a way as it searches through the content on the web. Now from this, it is then compiled and then sent to the content retrieval layer, which takes basically the interactions with the web page and to interact it with the HTML content that is associated with the search results. And then it passes it through a formatting like procedure, which ensures the cleansiness of the structure of the content. And obviously from that, you get the output of these different types of links that we saw at the start. So this is basically the functioning capabilities of this application and how it actually operates now guys if you want to actually play around with it you can do so and it's a very friendly user interface so it's easy to use and there's not much to it uh, obviously you're going to need to create an account with your google account or an email now it takes a little bit longer to go to the overview page but once that is finished loading i'll be right back so on the overview page, you can create different APIs that could be incorporated into your own large language model or chatbot. Now you have the usage tab over here in which you get a thousand different requests or searches with this Metaphor API app. So if you want more, you can obviously talk to them and get a little bit more. But in this case, you get thousand free, which is much like it's a lot for anyone. So it should be good for um, many amount of uses that you want. Now, if you go to the documentation, this will take you to the page that we saw at the start of the video, which focuses a little bit more on getting started with Metaphor API, talking about some of the search API examples, uh, how you can implement it into your language model, and a lot of different other information that is associated with the project. So if you want more information on this, I'll leave this link in the description below. But if you go back, you can see there is the playground tab and this is where all the action is and this is where you can input your own input of what you want it to actually focus on so in this case you can ask it anything and it will then work towards finding the best content through the web as we talked about through its architecture as well as in the introduction where we talk a little bit more about how it orchestrates the implementation of the different things that you request it from a single prompt so in this case i'm going to ask it find me the hottest ai trends and then obviously you can just click search you can play around with the actual start crawl day as in when it should look for the data uh, you can also focus on the publishing date of the papers, how many results you want, the actual search type, and excluding domains like if you don't want a certain type of website, or if you want a certain website, you can put it in over here. And there's another tab which focuses on finding similar content of what you are trying to search for. And this is something that is very useful if you know exactly what you want and what you want searched. So this is another good way for you to actually search, source through the, the different types of website that you want. Now in this case, we can see over here, find me the hottest AI trends, and then it searches through the latest AI trends. Like in this case, this was in 2023, and it is titled as on holding back the strange AI tide. It finds the websites, the score, as well as 
what is the who the author is and when it was actually published and we can see relatively all the content is from this year upset the last one and or the last two i would say and this is quite amazing as it's able to find the latest and the best content to you with this metaphor api app now i just wanted to showcase the other actual example of where you can find similar content in this case they pasted a similar like website in this case they're looking for a similar searches related to this link that you provided in this case it finds different types of links that are basically relating to metaphor api's actual website and this is something that is really helpful as you're able to source through the best content that relates best to what you provide it and this is very helpful as if you want to find substitutes or something that is equivalently like as useful as what you provided could be outputted with this application as it sources the best content for you so this is a really good way for you to reference find similar content as well as getting the best sources of content that is out there with this application now in conclusion guys metaphor api is an amazing tool that helps your large language model interact with the internet as it allows you to search using everyday language to access useful web information and providing the best responses to your user input so this is something that could be implemented and grown for different use cases for your own projects so i highly recommend that you check this out with the links in the description below and i hope you got some sort of value out of today's video now guys if you guys want to access the premium features of our patreon page please do so with the link in the description below if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter i highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that will definitely benefit you so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends so i highly recommend that you check this out with the link in the description below and lastly guys make sure you subscribe turn the notification bell like this video and if you guys haven't seen our previous videos please do so because there's a lot of content that will 100% benefit you because I cover different contents on different sides the spectrums of the AI world so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and I'll see you guys very shortly peace out fellas